I will attend Kate here. And woo her with some spirit when she comes. Say that she rail. I'll tell her plain she sings as sweetly as a nightingale. I'll say that she frowns. I say she looks as clear as morning roses, newly washed with dew. Say she be mute and will not speak a word, then I'll commend her volubility and say she uttereth piercing eloquence. If she do bid me pack, I'll give her thanks as though she be bestayed by her a week. If she denied a wed, I'll crave the day when I shall ask the bands and when be married. No, I will not. But here she comes. <clears throat> and now, Petruchio, speak. Good morrow, Kate. So that's your name, I hear. Well, have you heard, but something hard of hearing. They call me Catherine that do talk of me. You lie of eighth, you're called plain Kate. <laughs> and Bobby Kate. Sometimes Kate the cursed. <laughs> but Kate, the prettiest Kate in Christendom. <laughs> Kate of Kate Hall, my super dainty Kate, for dainties are all Kates. <laughs> uh, and therefore, Kate, take this of me, Kate of my consolation. Hearing thy mildness praised in every town, thy virtue spoke of and thy beauty sounded, yet not so deeply as to thee belongs. Myself am moved. To woo thee for my wife. Moved in good time. Let him that moved you hither remove you hence. I knew you were the first. You were immovable. Why? What's immovable? A joined stool. Thou hast hit it. Come. Sit on me. Oh. The asses are made to bear, and so are you. Women are made to bear, and so are you. No such jade as you. It's me, you mean. And that's good, Kate. I will not burden thee for knowing thee to be but young and like. <laughs> Same as you to catch. And yet, as heavy as my weight should be. Should be? Should buzz. <laughs> well taken, and like a buzzard. Oh, slow-winged turtle, shall a buzzard take thee? Aye, for a turtle, as he takes a buzzard. Come, come, you wasp, if ain't you are too angry. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. My remedy is then to pluck it out. Aye, if the fool could find it where it lies. Who knows not where a wasp doth wear his sting in his tail? In his tongue. Whose tongue? Yours, if you talk of tales and so forth. What? With my tongue in your tail? <laughs> I am a gentleman. Oh, that I'll try. <laughs> I swear I'll cuff you if you strike again. So may you lose your arms. <laughs> if you strike me, you are no gentleman. And if no gentleman, why then no arms? Harold Kate, or put me in thy books. Well, what is thy crest? A coxcomb? A combless cock. So Kate will be my head. No cock of mine. You crow too like a craven. <laughs> come, Kate, come. You must not look so sour. <laughs> oh, it is my fashion when I see a crab. Oh, here's no crab, and therefore look not sour. There is, there is. Then show it me. Oh, had I a glass, I would. But you mean my face? Well aimed of such a young one. No, by St. George, I'm too young for you. Yes, you are with it. Just with cares. I care not. Now hear you, Kate. This suit you escape not so. I chafe you if I tarry. Let me go. No, not a whit. I find you passing gentle. It was told me you are rough and coy and soft. <laughs> and now I find report a very liar. Yes. But now I gave some pleasant passing courteous. Yeah. But slow in speech. <laughs> Springtime flowers, thou kiss a frown, thou kiss a little scarf, nor bite the lip as angry wenches will, nor hast thou pleasure to be cross in talk. <laughs> but thou with mildness entertains thy wooers with gentle conference, soft and affable. <laughs> Why does the world report Kate to the limp? Oh, <laughs> slanderous world. Kate, like the hazel twig, is straight and slender, as brown in hue as hazelnuts, and sweeter than the girls. Let me see thee walk. <laughs> thou dost not hold. Go, fool, and whom thou keep'st command. Did ever Diane so become a grove as Kate, this chamber, with her princely gate? Oh, be thou Diane, and let her be Kate, and then let Kate be chaste, and Diane sportful. Where did you study all this goodly speech? It is extempore from my mother wit. A witty mother, witless else her son. Am I not wise? Yes, keep you warm. Mary, so I mean, sweet Catherine. 
in thy bed. And therefore, setting all this chat aside, thus, in plain terms, your father has consented that you shall be my wife. Your dowry agreed on. And will you, nil you, I will marry you now, kings. I am a husband for your turn. For by this light, whereby I see thy beauty, thy beauty that does make me like thee well. Thou must be married to no man but me. For I am he, and go on to tame you, Kate. Kate, to a Kate conformable as a household Kate. I went to Venice to buy apparel against the wedding day. We shall have rings and things and fine array and kiss. Mm. <laughs> we shall be married a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> 